So, I'm gonna level with you all for a moment here. We gotta have some real talk. Some people find themselves in a state in their lives where the simplest way to describe it is they are too afraid to die and they are too scared to live. Now, it's quite understandable how people can end up in this situation. I can sympathize with it fully where you feel like wherever you go forward in life is going to lead you into more tragedy. Shit sucks right now and it feels like it's only going to get worse, but killing yourself is hard as shit to do and you're in a position where you, you can't do that, but you're afraid to move forward, you're afraid to move backwards, you're afraid to do anything or go anywhere, in fact, with your life. It all seems to end the same way. And I want to start all of this out by noting I sympathize with this fully. I understand how you can get to this point in your life and how you can feel this way. I understand that desperation. I really do. But, and everything important comes after the but, doesn't it? That is not an excuse for staying in that state indefinitely. There is a time when, yes, you need to just feel that because that's where you are. You need to understand it and embrace it and come to terms with it and deal with it and all that good stuff. You know, it takes time to heal. We all know this. But when you don't stop that state, when you don't move forward eventually, when you don't recover or heal eventually, your life is stagnant. You, you're stuck. You're stopped completely. You're not going anywhere forwards, backwards, side, anything. You are just stratified in your current state. And that is a worse hell than anything else you could inflict upon yourself. You might think, well, if I move forward, things will get worse. But I can't kill myself either. So I can't live and I can't die. I don't know what to do. Well, life is going to make the decision for you. Let's be frank here. This is why this is real talk. You don't have to move forward for life to keep moving forward without you. Yes, you're stuck, you're afraid, blah, blah, blah. As I said, I sympathize. But at the same time, life treats it as a blah, blah, blah because it gives no shits. Life moves on. Whether you are ready to move with it or not is completely irrelevant in this equation. You could be afraid, scared to death, of the tragedies that you have faced already and what could be coming for you later. You could be scared to death of all of that and you don't know how to escape. And that's fine. But move forward. Walk one step at a time, one baby step at a time, one crawl on your hands and knees at a time if you must, but nothing is actually worse than that hell of being stuck in between everything too scared to do anything. Nothing is worse than that hell, because not only are you trapped with the sword of Damocles hanging over your head of a potentially worse future, but you have no escape from the present where you are in anguish. Because knowing that it hangs over your head means that you are in anguish. You can't escape that fact. That's why you're in this situation. But that's all a lie. The whole you can't escape part. That's how it feels. That's how it seems. But you can escape by just walking forward. Yes, the hammer may fall. Yes, you could walk into something even worse. All of that is true. But trust me on this when I say that that is still better than being trapped in that well, if I do something, it will be worse situation. Make it happen then. If there's no way to go that leads positive, then take the least negative step. Do something. Make something happen. Because, well, you're not changing anything by being scared and trapped. No animal has ever survived its problems by being scared and trapped and just sitting there, just laying down or just saying, I don't know what to do and just giving up. If a rat is trapped in a maze, what does it do? It keeps moving somewhere, anywhere. It just keeps moving, right? Because you're not going to ever escape a maze, whether it be a rat's maze in a lab or the hypothetical maze that is life with its twists and turns. You're not escaping that by sitting down and not moving. You're going to go somewhere or you're going to not go somewhere, and both of those are a choice. Inaction is in of itself a choice of action. If you choose to do nothing, you have still chosen something, even if it is inaction. And with the maze example, well, you might become further lost if you walk forward, right? You could become lost in more twists and turns of this maze and lose your way even further. Yes, that is true. But no escape comes from sitting down. No escape comes from just looking around and saying, I don't know where to go. Eventually, you have to start walking. If no hints are forthcoming, no one's coming to save you, right? If no directions are there, then 
take a step forward. It leads you to the next step forward. It leads you to the next turn. Take it. Then you lead you to the next pathway. Take it. You walk and you walk and you walk and you'll be lost for a while. You might hit dead ends. It'll feel worse, right? You, you keep advancing and nothing happens. But you know what? Don't ever lose sight of the fact that you are still advancing. The fact that you are moving forward means progress is being made in some direction. Yes, it could lead you to a worse fate, but in reality, is there a worse fate than being paralyzed by the fear of that worse fate? No, not really. Because in the end, the worst fear is the unknown, is it not? The worst fear is the thing you cannot identify, you cannot understand, comprehend, or put terms to. If you walk into that next worse event, at least you know what happened. You know why it's worse now. You know that it's not just that unknown blackness of dark you fear, but it is in fact a thing with form and substance that can be understood, reasoned, and overcome. The first step of solving a problem is to have the problem. And if you refuse because you're scared, you're lonely, you just don't have the will or whatever to step forward into the problem, well, you haven't even made step one to solving it then. You don't even know what the problem is, actually, do you? You just have this vague, unsubstantiated fear that the worst has yet to happen. And how do you actually know then? What if you take that step forward in the maze and the next turn was the exit? The very next one. You could have sat down right there and given up, right? But the very next turn of the maze could be the exit. You never know. It's like, as they said in the show Avatar, The Last Airbender, Iroh said it, and I'm paraphrasing here, but Life is a lot like a dark tunnel. You keep moving on and on, and though it seems dark, in the end, you just might find that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. You just might find that you move to a better place. But the only way you're getting there is by moving. To put another example before I leave you to ponder this, let's say you're lost driving through a city, right? You're, you're driving around new city, you don't know where you are, and you get lost the more you drive, it seems. Well, what isn't going to get you out of the city to your destination? Stopping the car and being angry or scared, is it? You're going to stop your car and be angry and scared, and then once you get over that, once it's you've had your fill of it, or once it doesn't interest anymore, you're, you're still where you stopped, you're still lost, and you're still in that city you don't know. Nothing you did made it better. So, let's all keep that in mind. Let's all think about that when we are in our own lives, when we think, well, I don't know how I'm going to make it, or I don't know why I should even keep trying, or, well, I don't know. Just that I don't know feeling in general. When life faces you with something where your response is to freeze up and not move or anything, because, well, crap, any way I turn it looks bad, take one. Pick a door. Go through something. Do something. Be something. Do anything to move yourself beyond that moment because it is a vicious trap. The more you give in to that paralysis, the more you're willing to keep giving in to it. I don't know. It's like a cycle even. <laughs> Let's go with that, huh? This is a cycle where there's the cycle of action and the cycle of paralysis, right? Doing something means you have a chance of escape. Doing nothing means you have no chance. And I don't think I offer too much when I say that we can all think about this and learn something from it.